What up, y'all? I just seen some wild shit, man. I seen Earl Spence go live on Instagram, so I clicked on. I'm like, damn, Tim don't never really go live. So I was trying to see well, what's up or whatever, right? So I hop on the Instagram. I hop on Earl Spence Instagram live, and um, he was showing the damage from his vehicle and it being fucked up or whatever from him being in an accident. And it looked it pretty bad, right? But I checked it out. I, I looked. I'm like, okay. Earl Spence looked perfectly fine. He said he was good, but his car is fucked up or whatever. It was a bulletproof truck and uh, it, it was made out of all metal. So brush straight. Because if he was in some regular, he'll be hurt. He'll be hurt. You know what I'm saying? Before the biggest fight. And, you know, he, bro, got some hell of. You already know Earl Spence getting watched. Getting washed upon. And I'm about to buy Earl Spencer a goddamn scooter. I'm about to get this nigga. I'm about to buy Earl a scooter, bro. Because <laughs> this nigga got some hell of a look. But I'm glad he 100, though. It just seemed like somebody read. Uh, I think it was a 14-year-old, he say. Um, ran the light, and they hit him. So I'm a, I am had screen recorded it. So I can get a little bit of the footage. I'm trying to go to the car real quick. I'm going fast as fuck. When you hit me, it's still, it hit my forehead all over shit. My car all metal, and it's heavy as hell. Mm. Oh, I'm going to be getting crazy. Whew. God. Damn, this shit so fucking bad. I'm glad I wasn't driving my other car. This, he would have ran through this shit. Shit, boy. Damn. Fucking 14 year old? That's crazy, man. Fucking 14 year old hit brush shit. Damn, I know he pissed. I know he ain't really tripping to get that shit fixed, but whatever, but. Whew! Fuck! Earl, bro. <laughs> I ain't know what to say, but glad he good, though. Glad he 100. You know, the car made out of metal and it's a bulletproof truck so you know them bulletproof vehicles weigh a lot more and um, they made out of their real shit so you know if he's probably in one of these plastic joints that we got or whatever then he would have been he probably would have been hurt but damn that's crazy man I'm glad you're real good bro <laughs> Was really I'm gonna tell you why, man. This is why I do a lot of time, man. Well, a lot of times I drive, it seems like I gotta drive for other motherfuckers. Because here in St. Louis, it's got a lot of motherfuckers who need to retake their license. I don't understand, bro. It, I, I, bruh. <laughs> for real, bro. I ain't bullshitting. Dude. I'm telling you, man. A lot of niggas. Need to retake their license course. Not only that, niggas, they need to change the course. Niggas need, I need for niggas to learn how to drive better. For real. But this was a young kid, probably on some dumb, dumb shit, stole a car or whatever the fuck, and ran a light, happy to drive, happened to hit a fucking world champion in Earl Spence shit. Luckily, he had goddamn this bulletproof whip. He wasn't damaged in no way. It don't look like he said he good. That's what's up, boy. I hate to hear that type of shit. Man, I hate to hear that shit. But let me, let me see. I was on the phone. Then the crazy thing is, yeah, right? Earl said he was on the phone with her, but um, and he probably thought he was good because his light was green for him or whatever. But the crazy thing is, I think I know what it is. I think I, I think it's I think it's um, the duck demons are coming for Earl Spence because they know he coming to take that goddamn boss, Captain Duck. Dark wing duck bud. They they know they know he coming for them goddamn eyeballs. So they trying to fuck up Earl Smith in any kind of way, bro. We ain't going for that shit, but it's obviously a higher fucking power over Earl Smith. You know what I'm saying? 
So, you know, the god fish is looking over him. So these fucking duck demons coming for him, it ain't gonna work, man. He's still coming to take them fucking eyeballs. For real, man. But, love, man. I'm glad Earl Spence straight, for real. Because cause this could have been catastrophic. This could have been some real fucked up shit. It could have been some bad, bad, bad. So I'm glad this shit. Earl Spence 100. And he was in that type of vehicle. And got through what he got through, cause, ah oh, man, 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 that shit just made my heart dry, cause, cause, bruh, for real, on some real shit, this shit crazy, man. This boxing shit crazy, man. Cause it's so much time in between, and life be happening, and shit be happening. So, oof, on a night, yeah, man, on a night, uh, but now, now, you know, put it like this, Earl Mito. He might have just sealed the deal with the duck. Because now the duck might think Earl Spitz was phased some kind of way because of the crash. So the duck might get in. You know what I'm mean? saying? The duck might be like, ah, he might open the door now because he think he answered. So, yeah, that's how we're going to get this shit done. That was, that was, you know, I know Earl ain't do this shit on purpose. It was just some bullshit that happened, but that shit, you might be able to turn a negative into a positive. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm glad Earl been good, and we might have just sealed the deal. You know, y'all hit that like button, man. Y'all, uh, make sure you praying for these fighters, man, because I definitely do. I be hoping and wishing everything go good, because, uh, you know, it's more than just boxing, man. Man, you know, it's about having a life and being having all your faculties and being 100 after the fact and being able to maximize every dollar that you make through this boxing shit. So, uh, you know, I'm glad, bro. Good, man. Real shit, man. For real. Yeah, I'm out, child. Deuce.